Yeah. Well, I think that's what the biggest problem is, is the lack of education. You know, I live in Acres Home, so I'm looking every day on every street in every corner, the rebuilding, the taking of the land, and I'd like to understand better what the uh, land bank is and how that operates, because I know that our people, they say, oh, they, they don't want it. They, they're abandoning it. Our people have never been educated on property. They don't talk about property until somebody dies. Not even That's then. when, thank not you. Not even then. And it's not even a good conversation. You know, so I feel really bad about our people not knowing, not having the knowledge, and people taking out of this. Well, they should have paid the taxes. Well, I should have paid my light bill. You know? So it's more than just knowing to pay the bill. A lot of people don't even know that the property belongs to them. Then the city has, of course, gone in and taken a lot of land, put it in the land bank. And I asked uh, one of the council at large, probably 10 years ago, does the city uh, get with every heir to that property? I said, I come from a big tribe. I said, it's 10 in my family. And the guy says, oh, no, we only contact one person. So this is where I stand. I want to go back and try to find out who these people are, how they're related. And uh, before I go any further, I want to mention that you get all of these notices in the mail. We want to buy your house. Is there a law against this? Can we have a law put into place for this? That doesn't make any sense. Don't be asking me about buying my house, you know, and you get all of that. I got a picture of a postcard with my neighbor. Is this your house? And it, it was terrible. It was, I hadn't even let her know that, I, that that came to my address with a picture of her house on it. You know, everything in Acres Home is old, old people. You ask the people, you know, have you communicated with us? No, they haven't. I said, I've been going through civics for about 15 years. I haven't gotten an email yet. You're just lying. I'm going to put it on Facebook. You're just a bunch of lawyers. You have not done this. I said, well, put it in the water bill. I said, if you want to reach Acres Home, put it in the water bill or put it on television. That's the only way you can reach Acres Home. I've asked them, give me the information. Let me go and stand on the corner and put it out. I haven't received any of that. Although, you know, we have the liaison at the Muscle Service Center and, you know, uh, the city of Houston. They have not done that. I put it on Facebook. You're just a bunch of liars. You're, you're not. There, there are a lot of people around the for not taking care of their That's right. Um, we No, no, not. I was just comparing that. You know, I, you know, you have to pay bills. So sometimes you're late on, you know, whatever you make arrangements. But, said, but our people don't even know this. Water bill. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. I asked him about that uh, also at the last meeting we had at the center. Can't you put it in the water bill? Everybody gets a water bill. Oh, we tried that. This woman is just lying. I don't care what you say. <laughs> you haven't done this. No, just to send the information to the community to know that we're having a meeting like this or that, you know, just to get the information out there. People don't know anything. 
Well, I thought she was talking about if you if if we passed a law that said they can't pester you to death about oh, yeah, the property, yeah. put notice of that in the water bill. Because my God, you took oh, my yeah. mail in half. Really? Thanks. Department of Justice can help you with that. Again, it's a real clinic, and we've been traveling around the city. 